I guess I should wait my turn. What, a bathroom? Oh, yeah, it is the toilet. List of drugs for patient inside room 2. I guess that's me. I'm on a lot of sedatives, it appears. The stuff they're giving me can knock out a horse and give it a headache for a week, too. It could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy. I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no good medical reason. Bunch of chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. Oh, lovely. I don't like flowers. I really don't care what they smell like. Well, okay. No way I'm taking them. I don't like flowers. Especially chrysanthemums. Alright. Cool. I won't make you take the flowers. Good God. Must be keeping another suicidal nutcase in here. Wait a minute. Wait. I'm not sleeping in some else's bed. Ah, unbelievable. Nothing interesting under the pillow. Dirty looking pillow. Gross. What's their clock at? 11.40. Are all clocks broken in this hospital? Three different sizes. I don't need gloves. Wait a minute. She said that was side room two. This is side room one. Hopefully not much long. Wait a minute. List of drugs for patients side room two. They mixed up the drugs according to this. Unless that's a typo. This is drugs for patients side room one and some notes. According to this, her name is Ann Burton, 35 years of age. She's taking lots of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. Seems that on top of it all, she's taking methadone for heroin withdrawal sy syndrome. Bottom page is a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady, I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. Okay. Um, hello. But she thinks those red rimmed glasses make her look attractive. I know her kind all too well, completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and close minded. I didn't even talk to her yet! This is rude. I'd like to go home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system in place. I can't just let you go like that. What? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, alright? You're not busy. You're a liar! Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. I feel much better now. She's sleeping? Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, alright? Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Yeah, okay. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's no. nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? God, what a jerk. It's a discharge letter for Ann Burton, currently a patient in room 1. Seems she has admitted herself into hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Then why do you have it yeah. just laying out on a table? Well, maybe yeah. you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Cool. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? <laughs> uh... Excuse me, where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? 
What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? My name is Susan Ashworth. Can I go now? If you've not been discharged, I can't let you out, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you, ma'am. You should talk to the doctor first and come back with a letter and some form of identification. Why are you and your buddy both bald? Jerk face. Oh, gonna meet our no, roommate. I guess hallmates is a better term. She looks really messed up. This must be the patient from side room two. God, doesn't she look confused? Yeah, she looks really messed up. Another suicidal patient. Strange, she looks like someone I know. Hi, are you alright? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here. Just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Mm. Um... Yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... Anne Burton. No, that's my name. You don't know my mother, you little liar. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Well, since she opened up the toilet... Let's go in there. Hmm. Game's a little slow. Not sure what to do with that is. Looks like it hasn't been emptied for a while. There are a lot of discarded medication pots in there, among other gross stuff. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Looks like one of the medication pots. Okay. Please stop writing messages on the mirror. While we are currently experiencing difficulties between high level of cleanliness due to... Sudden absence of our cleaning staff. We ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. I can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. A large shot of glass is lying on the side. Oh, uh, wait. Well, oh, okay. A large shot of glass is lying on the side. Oh, okay. Uh, can I take the shard? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Might be useful, I'll risk it. Yeah, you got a point there. That might have been a terrible idea. But, uh, If they catch you with that, you're in big trouble. It's rather filthy. Lid is down. Are we... Flush. We're not actually gonna... I'm dying for a wee ever since I woke up. Oh! Well, I picked the option. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, 
I have an idea. Oh no! Wait, no, not yet, no. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? I pressed it by mistake. Sorry. Oh. All right. It happens, I guess. I'll see you later. My plan failed. Because I didn't do this. Get in here, I took a wicked poop. I over flooded the Someone's toilet. Coming. Get in here. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? I've been eating gloves. The blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Ah, oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. Well, we'll let her do that. Okay, meanwhile. While she's taking care of that, that I just kind of stumbled upon by accident, uh, I can just do this. Alright, discharge letter. Take. Okay. Folders. Take. Examine. Okay, well. We are going to want to read this. It's on Ann Burton's or no... I somehow tricked them to think I'm Ann. We do actually look quite similar. Okay, well, I want to know her name. Or her mother's name. Well, you're not going to look it up? You're really going to just be that stupid? Okay. Hmm... I don't know what her mother's name is. Can't talk to her because I don't know her mom's name. Slay so should still be in here. Oh wait, is she gonna come out? It wasn't you who did it, was it? I don't know what you're talking about. Someone just stuck a bunch of... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's sorted now. I just hope it's the last time I've put my hands in that stinking toilet. Yeah, we got no reason to clog it again. I don't know why we still have one glove, though. Don't really see the purpose to that. Probably need to talk to her again, though. Tell those security guys to let me through right now. I'll tell them in a minute. I just have to finish my writing first. I'm not kidding. I want you to let me go right now. Could you calm down, please? There's no need to be rude. What? I'm not being... I'll be with you in a second. We're looking after a lot of patients here, not just you. Let me finish this. I can't remember what I was going to write. I have to start all over again. Wonderful. Um. Okay. Don't know what I'm quite looking for here. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's a little confusing. Let's read this again. No, they said don't write on the mirror. Okay. Yeah. So then... Oh, wait a minute. 
Hot water does steam. lie. I mean, I was trying to lie. That was actually kind of a clever, kind of a clever solution to that. If you really are the night, but I know. Joe. No, leave me. This is a lie. If you really are the night, but I No, leave me alone. I'm sent. What is that supposed to help me with? It said lie. Thought that was the answer. Interesting. It's not doing it again. I guess she goes to this side of the sink to turn it on. Alright, well, let's let the steam build again. Close the lid. Maybe I just didn't wait long enough. Okay. Well, clearly I know that says lie. show her this? Is that what I'm really gonna do? Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Actually, I'm feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Yeah, let's just be nice. Susan Ashworth, 24th of May, 1970. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. That's fine. That's fine. I'd like you to drink this liquid, please. It will help you relax. It will help you relax. I don't want to refuse, so... That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. Now yeah, I assume we passed out. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. Sheila. game. At least for me, it doesn't seem to be running that great sometimes. Might have to fiddle with some things.
Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked this video, please click the like button down below. And if you want to see more of these videos, I'd really appreciate you clicking that subscribe button. I upload every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if you want to see more videos, check then. I also have a Twitter if you'd like to follow me there. And a Twitch, and my Steam is also located down below. Share me with friends and family if you guys can. I'd really appreciate it. I hope to see you all for the next video. See you then.